Howdy howdy, it's Sneaky Blue 22 and we're back at it with Bear With Me. Now, last time we found a hook, we got into the attic, Millie died, so uh, there's that. Turns out the red man can get into my house without going through here. Or maybe he did. Maybe this guy is secretly the red man. But we're gonna find out. A bucket. That's a funny word. Bucket. Bucket. Okay. Ooh, what's in here? It's locked. Hmm. Could I use a rusty nail to open it again? Take the candle. I'll take it with me, just in case. Maybe I'll need to read in the dark at some point or something. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to Brian over here. Good evening, officer. Oh, my God, Miss Ashworth. Is that really you? I must say, I've only seen you in the papers, but you look even better in person. Stop, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> Oops, too late. Uh, no, but seriously, officer. Burke, Miss Ashworth, but you can call me Brian. Okay, Brian, we need to enter the city. You see, we're working on this case and we need to find a friend of ours. He might know some things. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ashworth. I I'm afraid no one is allowed to enter the city at this point. Not even a beloved and well-known celebrity such as yourself. I'm so, so sorry. And why not? Well... So, so sorry. That's okay. So okay, Brian. sorry. Aren't you a bit young to be a policeman? A police officer, actually. I'm fresh out of the academy, but I'm planning to make detective in a couple of years. Well, that's ambitious. Is that a fake mustache? Um, no. It is! There it, goes. it just fell on the floor. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm sorry. Everyone at the station has a mustache these days, and I just can't seem to grow one myself. My fiancé even makes fun of me sometimes. Well, I think you look just dashing without a mustache. It makes you look younger. Well, thank you kindly, miss. That's a tough deal, kid. You'll have a hard time becoming a detective if you don't have a mustache. But you don't have one, Mr. Bear. I'm a private snoop, Jimmy. I don't need to fit in. I walk my beat alone. Oh my god! I want to know about the Red Man, but then I want to continue this conversation. Can't you make an exception to let us pass? Just this once. Mr. Bear, as much as I admire both you and Miss Amber, seriously, I'm a huge fan, but orders are still orders. Things are getting really bad down in the city. If anything were to happen to Miss Amber, I could never forgive myself. Dave, who ordered this lockdown? The state officials. Mayor Mills himself signed the decree. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and it's Brian, sir. And how come the city is on lockdown anyways? I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss such matters, Mr. Bear. Terribly sorry. If everything is a teddy bear or some sort of toy, I kind of want to know what the mayor is. Like, what's he gonna be, like, a toy walrus or something, you know? Something cute? I'm gonna ask where Flint is. You haven't seen Flint Ashworth by any chance. Miss Ashworth's brother? That's right. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I'm confused. That's understandable, son. You're a paper city police officer. Never mind that now. Stevie, you know anything about the Red Man? Stevie? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I really can't discuss such matters. Uh... I will tell you one thing, though. The word on the street is that the suspect, codename Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. What yeah, kind of questions? What's so interesting about Amber, anyways? Hey! Don't worry, Miss Ashworth. You're the most interesting person I know. If I was a crazy lunatic with an agenda, I'd stalk you, too. Aw, it's him! That's so cute. Thank you, Brian. Oh, no. Now, now I'm blushing. I just have to interrupt, whatever this is. Jerry, what kind of information is Jerry? Red after? <laughs> it's Brian, sir, and I'm afraid I don't really know much about the subject. Only what I hear from the fellow police officers here and there. Besides, I'm not in a position... To discuss such matters, yeah. Yeah, I know. So, what is it we need to do in order to enter the city? 
Well, I suppose you would have to get clearance, signed by Mayor Mills himself. And he'll just sign this clearance, no questions asked. Uh, normally, no. I don't think so. But since you're in the company of the beautiful and talented Miss Amber, I'm sure the mayor will make an exception. Wow, okay. I'll have to get the mayor on the phone to sort this thing out. You think he'll let us enter the city? I really don't know, but that drunk owes me a couple of favors. It's time to call him up on it. To the Batcave. The references, man. They're getting to me. Mayor's office. Hello there, doll. This is Teddy Bear. You may know Teddy me from Bear? such cases as saving the mayor's ass on several occasions. I've also set you up with a buddy of mine that one time. Of course, Mr. Bear, I know who you are. Are you looking to speak with the mayor, Mr. Bear? Because I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. Can I take a okay. message? No, I have to talk to the mayor personally. It's important. When will the mayor be back? The mayor should be in first thing in the morning, Mr. Bear. Okay, never mind. Thanks anyway, doll. Just run past the dog. He's not in. And we don't have time to sit around and wait till he sobers up. We'll have to find another way. Hey, what if we made the clearance ourselves? That's falsifying government papers, doll. I like it. There should be some stationery around here. Give me a minute. Have a drink while you wait. A drink of what? Make-believe water? Never mind. Here it is. Okay. There. <laughs> now we just need something to use as a stamp. And we need to falsify the signature. You're an artist of sorts. You can do this, right? Not really. I could probably make a stamp out of something, but I can't falsify the signature. Fine. I'll get those two goons to do it. The mugshots? You think they'll help you? Don't worry. My right knuckle can be very persuasive. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking how gritty this is. This is cool. The tools I use to transfer my genius onto paper. Can you use it to make a stamp? By any chance? I'm kind of glad Rusty didn't get hurt, but like Millie, why Millie? I guess she was just kind of sitting there, but still. Okay, what's in here? Can I use anything? Y'all got any stamps? Lex in usta non est lex? Bunny made up words, although they have a certain righteous ring to them. No stamps? Okay, Ted, go talk to the weird bunny men. Maybe there's things in here. Random papers. Can I take the, the pen? Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? Maybe I can peel a sticker off of here? Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You too remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I remember my first job. I got a job helping out at the local library after school. I was never much of a bookworm, but I would just sit there among the books and smell the air, see? That old book smell still lingers to this day. I would sit there on a banister way past the end of my shift, admiring all the people there, the scholars, the academics. I guess they were a reminder of all the things I could be someday, see? Then they had to lock up and the janitors would come and just toss me out back into a dumpster. Well, that's actually really sad. Can you guys, uh... I need your help, lowlifes. I've got this fake clearance to enter the city, and I need you to falsify the mayor's signature. And what makes you think we're the right guys for this? Do we look like counterfeiters to you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this. But again, what's in it for us? You better do it if you ever want to play the clarinet again. What does that even mean? What do you think? It means I'm going to confiscate your clarinet. Oh no, not the clarinet, Jimmy. Would you do it for Amber? <laughs> I would do it for Miss. 
But something tells me you're just dropping names to get us to agree. She's with me, and she needs your help. Oh yeah? She sure lost a lot of weight or you finally lost your mind, cause I can't see ya. She's in the other room. She couldn't squeeze through. I'll cut you a deal, Snope. You bring me proof that little miss is with you, and I'll falsify this report card of yours. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, the clearance. I'll be back. Sure thing, Arnold. How am I supposed to get her through here? Can I unlock the door? You got it? No, they don't have anything to write with. You have your pencils with you? Here you go, but be sure to get them back. I'll be right back. Okay. Pencils. There you go. Some proof. There. Does this qualify as proof to you? Now, show some integrity for once in your life and do this thing. Whoa there! Are these the creator's tools? Where did a snoop like you get these? The Muffin Man, obviously. The Muffin Man gave them to me. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Amber gave them to me, obviously. They have her initials and everything. Alright the there, Muffin Snoop. Man. Don't get all riled up. Show me that land deal you want falsified. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, sure, the clearance. He's not moving. There. Now, if you don't mind, me and John John have some business to attend to. So, how about you hit the old dusty trail? They're literally not doing anything. Okay, so if the sticker or stamp, I guess, isn't in here, where is it? There, all sorted out. You didn't hurt them, did you? I sure did. Lowlifes like that only understand one kind of language. Oh no, Ted. Why are you always so mean to them? What? No. It's expected with those two. Never mind that now. I got it sorted. Let's head back to that cop boyfriend of yours. Okay. I guess she did the stamp thing by herself. Do I have to... Do I have to pull it down again? No, she does it herself. That does not reach. Not even... Not even close. I don't know why that counts. Let's give him the thingy. Or do I have to... Whoop. Do I have to draw on it first, or...? I don't think so. Okay, I assume you did everything, so here you go. I can't use Brian. that. Why not? Brian wanted the clearance things. Do I. Come on. Okay, maybe I just talked to him. Good evening, Miss Ashworth, Mr. Ted. Got that clearance yet? Is he making fun of us? I can't tell. Not yet. We're working on it, Brian. Not yet, so I need to go make a... Hmm. Swiss Army Knife. Are you even trying? Yeah, that should have worked. Hmm. Guess I can't do that. And this thing is locked, so... Maybe there's stamps in it. It's locked. How do I unlock it, though? Sword. I don't think so. Why is she so against just bashing things open? Like... I don't think so. Fine. I'll go find a stamp. I'll be back. So how do we make a stamp, or find a stamp, or create a stamp? I don't know. Hmm. The tools I use to transfer my genius onto paper. So why don't you do that right now? Candle. I don't need the candle for anything right now. Does Ted not have any stamps in his his little closet area? 
I can't use that. Really? Okay. Got pillows, you got the chest. Cardboard box, books? I've read all of these. Some of my favorites are Deconomicon, Dyslexia, and Cal to Fright It. Last encounter, a trip through the wormhole. The references, man. The references get me. And it takes me like a second every time. Damn it. Where can I find a stamp, though? Is there a stamp in the bathroom? Not there. No. Can I use the painting? A painting on the floor. Trying to get out of town and listen here. Maybe I'll already heard that. So not in here. Okay. Still looking. Why is there a shoelace going up the wall? There's nothing really in the study. Can I no. Okay, let's check our parents' room again. See if something's in here. Anything? No? Lipstick, a vase, hairbrush. Can't check through their drawers, which is probably a good thing, seeing as this is my parents' room. And that might be a bad idea. Maybe in here. It must be something. A book titled Developing for Dummies. I guess developers are dummies. This book is a good investment. Wow. <laughs> Going through trash is not on my to-do list. Maybe if my schedule opens up later in the day. Okay. Um... Can't check the drawers. Just a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. So why can't I just draw on here? I got the, the scribblings and whatnot. Not the knife. Do what with it? Draw on it. Did I do it? Are you even trying? Apparently not. Okay. So how do I find a stamp? Where would I find a stamp in this house? That is the question. Rusty is out of commit. Can I give Rusty his batteries back? I don't think so. Really? I'm just gonna leave him there? Just dead? <laughs> okay, let's see. The study should have something like a stamp. Right? Hmm. It's got all this stuff, but no stamps. Where? Where could I find something like that? There was nothing in the kids' room, was there? I don't think so. Open book? Maybe I can use the open book. With the creator set. Are you even trying? I'm trying. Why can't I bring paper or something to her? Ted, go in there. Maybe you can find paper. Okay. Can you steal the Empty blank paper? Sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future will they ever become? No. An empty they won't box. Become a book. Just think of the possibilities. Hmm. 
candy bag, a book, a glass, origami box, candy, papers, rope, book, but I can't take any of it. Hmm. These guys don't have anything, do they? If you don't mind, me and John John have some business to attend to. Yeah, okay. I'm looking for a stamp or a way to create a stamp. Can I hand this to you? No. Okay. Can he create one? No. What? All I need is a piece of paper and some glue. And that looks like a stamp. There you go. Okay, so that doesn't work. What is this sword for, anyway? I don't think so. Maybe I can use this to grab that key for whatever reason? Yes! I'll take this key with me, just in case. It's always good to have keys around. But what's the key do? Does it open Brother's room? What what key do? Let's go test it on the Brother's room. Let's see what this key does. If this is the key to the brother's room, I would be very weirded out. Do what with it? Okay, good. It does not open his room. Cause that'd be really creepy if your father just had like a key to your bedroom and just locked you in. Like that's... It's creepy. Well, let's see. Where are we going? Hmm. So if the key isn't to that, where is it? Hmm. The key. Maybe if I just bring this to the colored pencils? I can't use that. Oh, come on! <laughs> hmm. Key. Where'd the key go? There's nothing locked in my room, is there? I don't know. This is quite the predicament. I suppose head out to the hallway? Check up in the attic again. Let's see. The roll top desk! That's what the key's for! Oh my god, that took me so long. So I found the key, I took it down using the hook. Hey. The key fits. Let's see what we have in here. Here we go. This is how we find the... Or, not find. We, we make the stamp. I'll take the ink with me. If we wake up in 1789 tomorrow, I'll be all set. Okay. Ink on here. I take that as a no. Ink not go on there. Okay. Um. Candle. Candle here? I don't think so. Army knife in ink. I don't think so. Army knife. Sword. Come on. Army knife. Candle. There. Now what I got the... a stamp. All I need now is some ink. I turned a candle into a stamp. God, the way the... <laughs> the way this works would not work in real life, but okay. Messy. Hopefully I won't get it all over my pockets. I, I thought the nail being used as a key was bad enough. 
this. Stamp. All done. Wow, forging documents is a lot of work. That took... what? That took so long. Okay, well, let's, let's talk to Brian now. Good evening, Miss Ashworth, Mr. Ted. Got that clearance yet? Is he making fun of us? I can't tell. Not yet. Kind of wish We're I had some clues it, or something, you know? Not yet. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? Here it is. It's right here. It's done. It has a little stamp. For some reason, sh this ten-year-old girl was able to carve an official-looking stamp out of a candle. I was just gonna keep combining stuff until something worked. But that worked. Here you go, Mike. Signed by Jim. Uh, Mike. Mayor Mills himself. Yes, here it is, and it's like totally real and not at all fake. Well, everything seems to check out. Wait a minute. And enjoy the scenery, Miss Amber, Mr. Ted. It's a beautiful view of the city from here. Have a nice night. You too, Brian. Good night, Byron. <laughs> Byron. Okay. Paper. Literally a paper city. It's made of cardboard. Alright, I guess we're going back there. You ready, Ted? Give me a minute. I thought I left that place for good, you know. What about you? You haven't been there in some time, doll. Yeah, I think so. Besides, we have a case to solve. You're right. Let's go. Okay. Right into Paper City. It kind of feels like going home. God damn it. It really does. Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your former partner? That's a he grew That's up. a very good question. Okay. Right into Paper City. This is going to be interesting. That is the end of episode one of Bear With Me. Oh, I like this. I like the art style, I like the feel, I like the joke so much. The references keep getting me. I, I have to take a minute with every joke just to think about it. Oh, I love this. Honestly, really well made game. And I am excited to get into the rest of the episodes. I want to know what happens. Who's the red man? Where is my brother? And like, what is happening? What happened to his old partner? Was his old partner her brother? That is, that is a good question. That's kind of what I feel like though, because like they're teddy bears and stuff. Like he might be a had me down or something. You know? Heck, it could even be like her parents. One of her parents, you know? Could have been his old partner. And I kind of feel like the red man could even be one of her parents. Because why was there a picture of the red man in their bedroom? But we'll have to find all that out in the next episode. Now I'm going to start playing episode 2. I hope you guys like that. Comment and subscribe. Because we're going right into episode 2. In my next video. Bye bye.